So for today's topic, we are going to discuss about greatest common monomial factor. But first, let us define what is factoring. So factoring is the reverse process of multiplication. Ginagamit din ng factoring para makapag-solve tayo ng equations or makapag-simplify tayo ng mga expressions. But for today, isang type ng factoring muna yung didiscuss natin which is the greatest common monomial factor. Um, when we say common factor, limbawa may polynomial tayo, kung ano yung same monomial na pwedeng makapag-divide sa kanila, yun yung tinatawag natin na common factor. When we say monomial naman, it is a single term expression. Then, GCF, familiar naman na tayo dyan. It is the largest number that a set of number or polynomials have in common. Okay, so later on, magbibigay tayo ng mga set of example para mas maintindihan. Okay, so mag-start muna tayo sa GCF. Find the GCF of 14x raised to 2, y raised to 2, 18xy, and 2x raised to 3, y raised to 3. Okay, so paano nga ba kunin ang GCF? Okay, yung una natin gagawin, tingin muna tayo sa mga numbers. We have 14, 18, and 2. 14, 18, and 2. Okay, so sa tatlong number na yan, ano sa tingin nyo yung common or pwede nating i-divide sa kanilang tatlo? Pinakamalaking number na pwede nating i-divide sa kanilang tatlo. Okay, so we have here 2. ba? So i-divide natin sa kanilang tatlo, yung 2 pwede. Yung 2 pwede nating i-divide, syempre kay 2 mismo. Pwede din siyang i-divide kay 18 at pwede din siyang i-divide kay 14. So, ibig sabihin, ang GCF ni 14, ni 18, at ni 2 ay 2. Okay, tapos na tayo doon. Next, meron pang common sa tatlong yan. Which is yung variable nating x. So, we have x squared, x, and x raised to 3. x squared, x, and x raised to 3. So, kapag ganyan naman, kapag variable ang pinag-uusapan at may exponent, pipiliin lang natin kung sino yung may pinaka-mababang exponent. Ibig sabihin, ang exponent na itong una ay 2. Ang exponent ng pangalawa, dahil wala siyang nakalagay na exponent, meron tayong automatic na invisible 1. So, 1 yan. Then, itong dulo, ang exponent niya is 3. Ngayon, sinong pinaka-mababa sa kanila? Siyempre, si x dahil meron siyang invisible na 1. So, ibig sabihin, ang GCF niyan ay x. Next, may common pa sa kanila which is y. So, y raised to 2, then we have y, then we have y raised to 3. Sulat na naman natin, y raised to 2, then we have y, then we have y raised to 3. So, ganun din dahil variable to, titignan ulit natin yung mga exponent nila, kunin natin yung pinaka mababa. So, we have 2, we have the invisible 1, and we have 3. Ang pinaka mababa sa kanila ay si y. Dahil raised to 1 yung exponent niya. So, y lang. Ibig sabihin, ayan na, ang GCF ni 14x raised to 2, y raised to 2, 18xy, 2x raised to 3, y raised to 3 is 2xy. Next, find the GCF of 18A raised to 3, B raised to 2, C raised to 3, 30A raised to 2, B, C raised to 2, and 54A raised to 2, B raised to 3, C raised to 2. Mauna muna tayo sa mga number yan. 18, 30, and 54. Sulat natin. 18, 30, 54. Oops. Okay. So, sa tingin nyo, ano yung common sa tatlo or pwede nating i-divide sa kanilang tatlo? Okay. 
Kung iisipin nyo, gaya nung nauna nating example, pwede yung 2. Okay. Pwede naman sa kanila yung 2. Ibig sabihin, si 18, madi-divide natin siya sa 2. Si 30, ganun din. And 54, divisible din siya sa 2. Or pwede siyang i-divide sa 2. Pero kasi, gaya ng sabi ko kanina, pag sinabi natin GCF, sabihin, kailangan yung pinakamalaki ang kukunin natin. So, mag-iisip pa tayo ng ibang number na mas malaki sa 2 na pwede natin i-divide sa kanilang tatlo. Okay, how about 3? Okay, 3 pwede kay 18, pwede kay 30, pero hindi pwede kay 54. Yung 4 pwede kay 54, pero hindi siya pwede kay 30, at saka kay 18. Okay, then 5, hindi pwede sa kanilang tatlo. How about 6? Okay, so let's try 6. Si 6 pwede kay 18, pwede din kay 30, and pwede din kay 54. Therefore, 6 yung GCF na 18, 30, at may 54. Next, punta na tayo sa mga variables natin. Okay, we have A na meron sa kanilang lahat. A. Okay, so sulat natin, we have A raised to 3, A raised to 2, and A raised to 2 ulit. Okay, na doble yung A raised to 2. Titignan natin kung sino yung may pinakamababang exponent. So, ibig sabihin, we have A raised to 2. Kahit na doble sila, okay lang. So, A raised to 2. Okay, next, we have B. B raised to 2, we have B and B raised to 3. B raised to 2, B and B raised to 3. Ang pinakamababa ay si B kasi ang exponent niya ay 1. So, sulat natin, B. Then, we have C raised to 3, C raised to 2, and C raised to 2 ulit. So, C raised to 3, C raised to 2, and C raised to 2. So, ang pinakamababa ay C raised to 2. Therefore, ang ating um, GCF ay 6A raised to 2, B, C raised to 2. Okay, so ito yung GCF natin. So, yung inexplain natin kanina ay pagkuha pa lang ng GCF. Ibig sabihin, wala pa tayo sa pagpa-factor. So, eto na, mag-start na tayong mag-factor and magagamit natin yung mga examples or yung knowledge natin kanina sa pagkuha ng GCF sa pagpa-factor. Okay, so let's consider example number 1. We have 5x minus 45. Okay. So, let's factor. Again, kailangan ng unang step, titignan muna natin yung mga terms natin. Pag sinabi kasi nating term, pinaghihiwalay lang siya ng mga sign natin, positive or negative. So, yu, dito sa number 1, ang una nating term ay 5x. Yung second term natin ay negative 45. Okay. So, ang common lang sa kanila ay yung mga constant. Ibig sabihin, number lang. Kasi, dun sa una nating term, 5x. Dun sa kabila, negative 45. Wala siyang kasamang letter or variable. So, ibig sabihin, ang parehas na meron sa kanilang dalawa ay number lang. Ngayon, yun lang yung kukunin natin. Kasi hindi natin pwedeng kunin yung GCF kapag walang common. Kaya nga siya, greatest common factor or common factor. Kasi kailangan parehas na meron sa kanilang dalawa. So, since wala naman, walang variable si 45 dito, si negative 45, ang kukunin lang natin na GCF ay yung ating mga number. Okay, which is 5 and negative 45. Okay, so ano yung common kay 5 and negative 45 or ano yung pwede natin i-divide sa kanilang dalawa okay yes, hindi tayo pwedeng mag-divide ng 2, 3, 4 pero pwede yung 5, okay, so ganyan susulat lang natin 5 then, gagamit tayo ng parenthesis okay, so we have open parenthesis then i-divide lang natin yan so, ibig sabihin, itong 5 na common kay 5 at saka kay 45, i-divide natin. So, 5x divided by 5. 
Siyempre, yeah. makakancel yun. 5 divided by 5, 1 na lang. So, hindi na natin susulat yung 1. So, we have x na lang. May iwan sa x. Okay, then we have um, negative 45 divided by 5. So, divide natin si negative 45 kay 5. We have negative 9. Okay, then close parenthesis. Therefore, ang ating factor ay 5 quantity x minus 9. Okay, so yan yung factor ng 5x minus 45. Okay, next. Number 2, we have 3y plus 27y squared. Okay, so dito sa pangalawang example natin, parehas na silang may number at parehas na silang may letter. Okay, dalawang term ulit, 3y and positive 27y raised to 2. Okay, so dun muna tayo sa number. So, ano yung pwede nating i-divide kay 3 at kay 27? Okay, so pwede yung 3. Okay, so hindi pa tayo pwedeng mag-divide or maglagay ng parenthesis kasi meron pa silang parehas, which is yung letter or yung variable natin na y. So, y, tas may y din doon, kaya kailangan natin kunin yung GCF. So, kanina, pinag-aralan natin sa GCF kung paano kukunin kapag variable siya. So, pipiliin natin yung may pinakamababang exponent. So, sa dalawa na to, si y tsaka si y squared, ang kukunin natin ay si y. Sulat natin siya dyan. Then, pwede na tayong maglagay ng open parenthesis. Then, i-divide natin yan. So, 3y divided by 3y, it will give you 1. Okay, so kapag wala siyang kasamang letter or wala na siyang susundan, ilalagay natin yung 1 na. No? Okay, then we have 27 divided by 3 will give you positive 9. Then we have y raised to 2 divided by y. Okay, ito na. Pag nagdi-divide tayo ng may variable or may exponent, ima-minus lang natin ito, itong exponent, itong 2, dun sa exponent ng din ipinang di divide natin. Okay, so ang exponent nito ay 1. So 2 minus 1 magiging 1 na lang. So lalagay natin y. Okay, ibig sabihin yung factor natin sulat lang natin ng mas maayos 3y quantity 1 plus 9y. Okay, so yan yung factor niya. Next, number 3. We have 3x plus 6y. Okay, may dalawa tayong ulit na term. 3x and 6y. Gaya ng ginawa natin sa number 2, kukunin muna natin yung factor ng ating mga constant or yung numbers which is 3 and 6. Okay, anong pwede natin i-divide kay 3 at saka kay 6? Yes, pwede ang 3. Okay, yun na yung pinakamalaki na pwede natin i-divide sa kanilang dalawa. Okay, next. Parehas silang may variable or parehas silang may letter. Yan, si x at si y. Pero, hindi naman sila parehas. Kailangan kasi, kagaya ng number 2, parehas na y. Ayan. Dito kasi, hindi naman sila parehas. So, ibig sabihin, pag walang common, ayan na, yung 3 lang yung susulat natin. Then, magpaparentesis na tayo. Okay, so i-divide natin si 3 kay 3x. So, 3x divided by 3 will give you, ayan, 3 divided by 3 is 1. Kaso may kasunod siyang letter. Kaya may iwan na lang si x. Actually, yan, 1x. Pero hindi natin kasi sinusulat. X automatic kasi pag nilagay natin yung x, 1 na yon. Kaya x na lang isusulat natin. So, x. Then, we have 6y divided by 3. It will give you, ayan mo na, 6 divided by 3 is positive 2. Then, yung y, dahil wala naman siyang kasama or hindi naman siya kasama sa dinidivide natin, sulat lang natin siya. Okay, so yung factor natin ay 3 quantity x plus 2y. Okay, next, number 4, negative 3, y raised to 2 plus 2 y raised to 3 minus 9, y raised to 4. Okay, so pare-parehas na may y and lahat merong number. Pero tignan natin. 
Okay, so we have here, sa number muna tayo tumingin, or sa mga numbers, negative 3, positive 2, negative 9. Tingin nyo, meron bang common, or meron ba tayong pwedeng i-divide sa kanilang tatlo? Okay, so kung wala, wala tayong ilalagay. Wala tayong pwedeng i-divide kay negative 3, kay positive 2, at saka kay negative 9. Okay, again, tatlong term tayo, ah. Tatlong terms. Ayan. Walang pwedeng i-divide kay negative 3, kay positive 2, at saka kay negative 9. So, punta tayo kay y. Dahil pare-pare silang may y. So, y raised to 2, y raised to 3, y raised to 4. Ang pinakamababa ay y raised to 2. Sulat natin. Then, open parenthesis. Then, divide na natin. So, we have... Dahil nga wala tayong number, susulat lang natin yung kasama niyang number. So, negative 3, y raised to 2, divided by y raised to 2, will give you negative 3. Kasi yung y raised to 2, 2 minus 2, 0, kaya hindi na natin ilalagay. Tapos na tayo dito. Next, second term na tayo. So, we have plus, okay, wala tayong number, so isusulat lang natin itong 2 dito. So, 2, then y raised to 3 divided by y raised to 2 so magma minus tayo 3 minus 2 it will give you 1 again din susulat yung exponent na 1 so we have y then we have negative 9 dahil walang kasamang numbers sulat natin 9 then y raised to 4 divided by y raised to 2 so 4 minus 2 will give you 2 so y raised to 2 Ganun lang kasimple. So, ito na yung final answer natin. Y raised to 2. Quantity negative 3 plus 2Y minus 9Y raised to 2. Okay, for number 5, we have 7X raised to 3 plus 49X raised to 5 minus 35X raised to 7. May tatlo tayong terms. 7x raised to 3, positive 49x raised to 5, and negative 35x raised to 7. Okay, tumingin muna tayo doon sa mga numbers. We have 7, positive 49, and negative 35. Okay, ano yung pwede nating i-divide sa kanilang tatlo na common? Okay, so we have 7. Pwede ang 7. Okay, next, pare-pare silang my x. Okay, so, pwede natin gamitin yung x as our GCF. Ang pinakamababa ay, we have x raised to 3, x raised to 5, and x raised to 7. So, ang gagamitin natin ay x raised to 3. Dahil siya yung pinakamababa. Then, open parenthesis, then let's divide. Okay, dito muna tayo sa first term, 7x raised to 3 divided by 7x raised to 3. Okay, so kapag wala nang matitira, or wala na tayong isusulad na kasunod, 1 agad yan. Okay, 7 divided by 7, 1. Tapos, ito kasi, mag-0 na yan. Kaya, 1 na lang. Okay, then we have, second term na tayo, 49x raised to 5, divided by 7x raised to 3. So, 49 divided by 7 muna, will give you positive 7. Then, x raised to 5 divided by x raised to 3. Mag minus tayo, 5 minus 3. So, we have x raised to 2. Then, we have negative 35 divided by 7 is negative 5. Then, x raised to 7 divided by x raised to 3 will give you x raised to 4. So, 7 lang yun, 7 minus 3. Kaya, nakuha natin yung 4. Then, close parenthesis. Okay, so, sulat lang natin ng matinotino. So, 7x raised to 3. 1 plus 7x raised to 2 minus 5x raised to 4. Then, close parenthesis. So, ito yung factor ng number 5.